hello and welcome back to my channel so i'm in the middle of stacking this um coco melon cake and i thought i'll use it as a, an opportunity to show you guys how i stack the cakes with the dolls in the cake i know i talked about structure some weeks ago so um i just want to show you how i do it So this is an eight inch cake and I'm going to put a six inch on top of this. So for me, what I do is I have six, the same number of dowels as the cake on top. So the six inch going on top of this cake will have six dowels, but I count the central dowel in here as one. So I have to find five spots to put the cake and um, the dowels in for the cake to sit on to make a complete six. So five of these smaller ones plus this will make it six dowels for the six to sit on it. If I have a five inch, I have this that comes at one and then I put four more to hold the cake. So ideally, um, I have done this so many times so I can estimate where it's supposed to be but you can put a six inch board on top of this, outline it just to have an idea where the um, cake is going to sit so your sticks are not too close to the edge because if it is, the cake is, will also will sink because it's not going to support the cake. So we have to find um, five spots within the six inch um, radius. Um, diameter sorry <laughs> so that um, we have the uh, cake sitting on it so this is what is supporting the cake so it's not sinking and the, the cake and the bottom doesn't take all the way so this is one two I'm basically going to do a star this will be three four and five so this is how it looks like um, I think we can move this a bit further away so the space is even mm -hmm. and this is where the cake will sit if you feel like you haven't measured it right you can easily just make another hole scrub the first the first one you made because the cake is going to sit on it it will be better to fix it and make sure that you, you are certain of where the dowels are and the space in between than saying oh it's going to mess up so i'm going to leave it like that your cake will still slide so this is how it looks we have a star and i'm going to do the first one right here all the way in push it it hits so this is where the um the dowel has hit the board so i have to mark this exactly where it is I'll take it out and then I cut it. So I know the exact height of the dowel in order to match the, the level of the cake. You don't want it too high or too deep inside. So I have a food marker here. And this is right here. So this is my mark. Usually I have um, I have two cutters. I have this one, it's a wire cutter, and then I have a PVC cutter. So I'm just gonna use the PVC because usually I use that for my bigger um, my bigger ones, but let's just use this and then it cuts clean. So I've prepared my six inch cake to go on here. I have all five dowels in here so the cake doesn't sink. And I have the central dowel making it the sixth one so the cake doesn't slide. So we have six of them 
this is one and we have five inside I'm about to put this on here the cakes are heavy so this helps the cakes not to sink and the central one allows it not to slide you don't want your cake dancing about so this is right here okay and before i forget we can put a bit of buttercream right here covering up the sticks and using it as a glue i guess to hold the board also Okay, and I, I have a third tier going on there so it's the same idea it's a five inch four dowels in this is the middle uh, dowel to hold it keep it from sliding and I'll show you the end results So this is the final look and I hope you found it helpful. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you so much for watching and catch you on the next one. Bye bye.